Okay, so let's get into some code. Right now, you are looking at the newsletter subscribes to CSV, which the marketing department has given us. You can see it has name, email, age, referred by as the fields. And we have a whole bunch of data here for newsletter subscribers. Okay, so this is the newsletter subscriber CSV. And now we just have parse csv.py. This is a new file and let's start off with import CSV. This is the module we're going to be using. Now, the first thing we need to do is, of course, read the CSV from marketing. Then we need to pass the CSV. And then we'll need to write a new CSV, which contains the people or the subscribers with the specific rule set. Okay, so to read a CSV, we are going to use with open and we are going to refer to the newsletter subscribers at CSV from marketing. And notice it's in the CSV directory. We are going to use R to read the file and we're going to say as newsletter subscribers CSV. Okay, so next up, we are going to do CSV and reader equals to CSV dot reader. Okay, so this is a one way of reading CSVs. We're going to pass newsletter subscribers CSV, and then we're going to print out CSV reader. We can just right click here and run our Python code. Notice it comes back as a CSV reader object. We don't want that. We actually want to see the data from the CSV. So in order to do that, we need to loop through this object. So we'll do four row in CSV reader, and then we will print a row. Now notice that we are getting all the data back and we're getting it back as just list. So we have our headers as one and then we have the rest of our data. So if we did row two and ran it, we will get the age back, which is good, but I don't really want to be referencing uh, fields by the, their index. We want to use keys. So row two is a bit annoying. So we can change reader to dict reader. And this will take each row and create a dictionary. It'll use the headers and map the data to these keys. So now we have row age and you can see we get back the same data and we're just using the age key. To be a little bit more clear here, if we just print row, you'll see now we have odd dictionaries. Yes, it's a little bit difficult to read here, but we won't be reading this, our code will. And we'll be reading our code and our code will be a lot easier to read and write if we used dict reader and just referred to the keys of these fields. Okay, so what we need to do here is start to think about the rules that marketing gave us. So a subscriber must be older than 30 years old some reason for their data um, or their insights, they want that. So what we would do is we would say if row age and is greater than 30 years old. So you can see it just reads a little bit easier, row age rather than the index. But one gotcha here is that the row age is actually coming back as a string. Now we want to convert that into an integer. To do that, we can just simply do int and row age. So we're just going to say, instead of row age, we're going to say if age greater than equal 30. Cool. So that's one rule done. So the next rule is a subscriber must be or must have been referred by Google. Okay. So how would we do that? Of course, we'd have to reference the field and we could do this, but actually it's coming back as a string anyway. So yep, Google, Leaflet, email, those are the different options. They are strings. So we don't have to do any conversion. We could just write row and then referred by. Cool. So now we would change our if statement to be if age greater than equal to 30 and referred by Google, because those are the only rows we care about.
cool. So now we can actually go into the parsing bit here. You can just remove that. And yeah, we could potentially write a new CSV here too. Let's find out. So what we're going to do is we are actually going to build a new list here. And this list is going to be subscribers older than 30 referred by Google. I know this name is a bit long. I like to be really clear when I am creating variables, methods, etc. And I, for me, this is really clear. So we are now going to add or append to this list. Cool. And what will we append? Well, we need to append the data that's coming back from the CSV. So we know we need name and we're going to have name there. And we're just going to have email because that's all the information marketing wants. And notice that we are appending a dictionary to our list. Yep, that looks all good. Let's get rid of this because we're not actually writing the CSV here. We're just passing it. Okay. Yep, that looks good. And now we can actually write a new CSV with the data that we have extracted from the old CSV. And we're going to use with open. And this time we're going to refer to a CSV that does not exist. It's one that we are going to create. It's called subscribers older than 30 referred by Google. Yep, I think that's clear and .csv. Again, I like to be extremely clear here. Cool, so we need to do write and we also need to add new line. So the reason why we need to add new line is if we don't, the Python code will just add a new line after each row. So that will leave a blank space between or blank row or blank line between each row. And that's, we don't want that. We want everything one after the other. Cool. So we're going to say subscribers older than 30 referred by Google. Notice, take advantage of your IDE. Yes, the name can be long and descriptive. That's not necessarily a bad thing because you don't have to type the entire thing out. The IDE is going to find it for you. So now we're just going to list our field names here and field names are actually the, basically your headers and they're going to be at the top of your CSV. So all we want is name and email. And now just like we used CSV dict reader, we are now going to use the writer. Yep. So dict writer and let's see the arguments this takes, we are going to give it the subscribers older than 30 referred by Google CSV. And we're going to give it field names. Yep. And next we're going to say CSV dict writer. And we're going to write our header. Cool. So that will take the field names and write that first row, which is actually our headers, name and email. And then we'll have to loop through each of our subscribers list that we built up previously. So subscribers older than 30 referred by Google is actually this list that we are building up when we are reading the CSV. Cool. So for subscribe in subscribers older than 30 referred by Google, CSV dict writer write row and subscribe. Really that should be subscriber. Maybe that'll be reading a little bit better. Cool. So now we just say CSV dict writer write row. And if we run this, yep, all good. We should get a new CSV and we do. And here it is name and email as our headers. And then we have the people who match our conditions. So really what we should do here is just double check that these users actually match the CSV. So if we go Joy Marsh and yep, we can see Joy Marsh and that person's older than 30 and has been referred by Google. So this is how you could create a really simple script in Python to create a new CSV to hand back to your marketing department.